Have you ever tried counting sheep to get to sleep? Maybe next time you'll count the minuscule cells that make up your blood. No? Don't worry, there's many professionals that do that test each and every day, and it is anything but sleepy. The number of cells that make up the different parts of your blood are very important to your health. I'm Andrew Chapman, and today we're counting on your blood to keep us healthy here in the lab. I'm here with Marnie. She's the manager of Core Labs and Rapid Response. Now, Marnie, why is it called Core Labs? So the core lab uh, consists of um, very high volume routine testing, uh, coagulation, hematology, biochemistry. Um, but in this area, we also have some of our specialty areas that uh, incorporates hematology and chemistry. Now, how many samples do you think you have in the lab on average? Uh, so in, um, I can give you yearly volumes. We do about six million tests a year. Six million tests? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then wh how many samples and test tubes and things so do you So usually have? that's about a million and a half tubes. I'm here in the lab with Jamie Lynn. She's a medical laboratory technologist. Now, Jamie Lynn, what exactly are we counting when we say we're doing a complete blood count? Well, when we do a complete blood count, basically we're measuring the different components of blood. These com components can be broken down into white blood cells, red blood cells, mm -hmm. and platelets. So what do the results of this test tell us? So basically, CBC, um, you just want to look at the overall health of an indi individual mm -hmm. or a patient. Um, what happens is, if we see anything abnormal or anything that doesn't seem right, we'll order additional tests. And then, if anything's critical, we'll call, to the, we'll call the doctors, we'll call the nurses, just so that the patient themselves can get the treatment that they need immediately. So, Jamie Lynn, how does the actual CBC happen? I'll show you. Come with me. Great. So once the analyzer's done analyzing the blood, it spits out all these parameters for us and results for us to analyze, basically. Um, so this is where the technologist comes into play. We look at the results and we see if it's valid, if there's something abnormal, if there's something that needs further testing to be done. So if a sample is abnormal, we would then do further testing and we would make something called a blood film review. So basically we take the blood sample and we make a blood smear and we stain it. And then once it's done staining, we look at it underneath the microscope in the microscopy room. Great. If you want to see what it looks like, I can bring you over and we can check it out. Okay, let's go. So this is the morphology room. So once slides come off the stainer, they come into here and this is where we look at it underneath the microscope. Okay. So what we have here is an abnormal cell. It's actually one of the cancer cells that you would see in a leukemia patient. So one of the distinguishing features of a cancer cell is this little circle inside its nucleus. So this little circle is called a nucleoli. Um, you'll see a lot of them, like prominent ones, in abnormal cells. Um, and if you compare that to a normal cell, normal cell wouldn't have any of these features. Once we're done with the report, the results get released to the doctor. And based on what we tell them, they'll treat the patients. Um, after that, we just go to the next slide. Um, that basically is the process from CBC to morphology. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Jim. No problem. And thank you to the Laboratory Medicine Program at UHN for letting us come in and learn. If you want to see more videos like this and learn more about what happens in the lab, please visit medlabprofessionals.ca.